black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey, yo, what up, world? What's good with y'all? Hope you're doing okay. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today on deck, we have a classic. We have Subway. I was jonesing it. I've been jonesing it for literally two weeks now or so, and I just I had to get it. I had to cave in. Uh, got some ripple chips up here, some other things off to the side. We'll get to them. I'm going to unwrap this, get everything in place, and then we do what we do here. We chat, we talk, we eat, we hear stories, we vibe. Straight up, this thing's looking a little too hot for TV. Whoever the subway worker was, straight up right now, thank you so much. Shout out you. You straight up killed this. Presentation wise, unreal. When the worker comes in clutch with a nice assembly, that's like so, so thank you. All right, so as per usual, I got some homies on the side here. A nice that, the big boy, hell of a good French onion dip. That's for the chips. If you ain't never had that, it's so good. Obviously the Hidden Valley, just in case we need some extra ranch. And I figured I'd dabble with a few dri drips of uh, Franks on the sub today. Something I don't usually do. It's not uh, not standard issue for me, but uh, I'm down for it today. And then of course, we must with a diet doctor. Life ain't shit without a diet doctor. I need a doctor to come save me. And this is the one I choose. Always into the fountain. As we must. Hmm. Like a fine Pinot Noir. Okie dokie. Smoky. We goes in. So this, ladies and gents, is the best sub in my opinion at Subway. It's my favorite. The Italian BMT. We bite it, and then I'll uh, I'll educate you about it if you never had one. Because you know what, a lot of people stay in their own little boxes, and I want you to try something new if you never had it. So here we go. So perfect. You guys know, first off, that Subway has that, that bread is basically uh, heroin. Like when you smell it from outside, when you go buy a Subway and you, you smell the bread, it's an instant hook. You know it is. So right on point, I got the Italian herb and cheese for the bread. So the bread obviously is hitting just because that Subway bread hits. Got to go extra saucy. I got double meat. I feel like at this point in my life, as an adult man, going to Subway, 
is just a requirement to get double meat. I really don't think I could do it any other way. Once you experience the double meat at Subway, there's really no going back, To if, if I'm being honest. Because you come to the realization that previously you were basically getting a salad in a bun with like a meat sprinkle. And when you do it like this, it's like you're actually just getting a normal sub. Which I know. It sounds like a total ripoff. And you know what? It might be. That said, though, Subway's just got that. It's got that corporate hook on me. It's got that flavor that I just you can't get anywhere else. So we spend the extra. three dollars for the meat and get ourselves a proper sandwich the meats are Salami, pepperoni, and ham. I wonder how this is. Mm. The French onion dip bite works. And then for toppings, I got lettuce, tomato, cucumber, onion, pickle, green pepper, banana peppers, as you can see. Mm. And if you don't get the banana peppers, they're crazy. that like pickled spicy cut crucial mm -hmm. that calls for a uh, calls for a doctor To cleanse the palette. It's picturesque. It's so picturesque. Whoever made this is legit a sandwich artist. Like, this person definitely went to Sandwich University. Because I don't know the last time I've seen a sub looking that perfect. That looks as advertised. Which is next to impossible or rare to get.
suppose I should enlighten you as to the sauces that I got. My go-tos, obviously ranch, uh, Chipotle Southwest. And the house sauce, which is like an oil vinegar sauce. And sometimes you just got to take it to the level of dipping the chips in the French onion and just stacking them on. You know that's the move. Mm. This thing's killing it right now. Just standing at attention. Do you guys ever do this weird move where you actually eat the sub like down this way instead of like this way? It's actually a clutch move. Perfect sauce control. It's like a burger. It's low-key a secret technique that I always forget about. Oh my god. Yeah. This meal's on fire. Okay. I see you opening up for me. What do you want? A couple scraps? I got you. Just naturally opening up. Needing some crunch. I got you. If you're not, if you haven't at this point in this video, either been on your like Uber Eats or skip the dishes, creating a fantasy sub thinking like, mm, I shouldn't really do it, but now that I've seen this video, I have to, or you're not at least heavily considering going in your car and slip in your slippers to the nearest subway then you're a champion because I can tell you that just for me doing this video right now if I was watching this video I would be like out the door for a sub At the very minimum, I would know that tomorrow at lunch at work, I'm going to that way. I bit my feet. Oh my god, so painful. I hate that biting my lip tongue cheek just uh so annoying it actually hurts so much but these are the uh consequences i guess of gluttony
prices we pay. That was bombastic, Mr. Fantastic. Perfect. Just perfect. Go get yourself some Subway, though, for real. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.